Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk through a very important thing with you guys today, and that is the middle icon SBC, when it's going to be available through foot swaps, and when it's going to be available as an SBC. I want to go through some of this, talk with it with you guys, possibly look at some market movements, uh, and of course, what is going to happen with this SBC when it comes out, and when is this SBC gonna come out is a very, very big question as well. The mid icon pack costs you eight icon swap tokens. Of course, we have 45 days remaining of this uh, the second set of icon swaps. As underwhelming as it is, um, you know, we have a squad battles glitch that is in the game right now. So I do think people are doing uh, icon swaps because it's easier with the squad battles glitch. So that's something to consider. I do think people are going after some tokens, but I also, there's people like me who just don't have the time to grind the game as much and they're not going after the tokens. But with that being said, uh, this is more maybe talking about the mid icon SBC, not just the, the pack from icon swaps uh, and when that's going to come out, how much it's going to cost and stuff like that, because this is a huge, huge SBC, the middle icon SBC. Think about all the middle icons in this game that you can go out and get from this SBC. If the baby icon was popular, if the baby icon SBC was popular, then the middle icon SBC is just going to be as popular or even more popular. We have 88 Vieira that you can get from this. You've got middle Cruyff. Of course, you have middle Hullet. Um, but all of these cards in the millions and millions of coins. This guy right here is three mil. Three mil from middle Cruyff. Uh, and you have so many middle icons. This is the thing that really interests me as well. The step up on a lot of cards from their base to the middle. Um, let's go like to a Maldini, for example. You know, if you get baby Maldini, you're like, okay, that's an all right left back. He's not really a left back though. But if you get middle Maldini, you're stoked, right? Because of the position change and just because of the upgrade. And that's the way it is for a lot of icons in this game. The baby to the middle is a pretty sizable upgrade. And like, I'm gonna say 80 to 90% of icons, the middle version is better than the baby for whatever the position change is or just the stat upgrade. So the middle icon SBC will definitely have some insane hype and a lot of people want to do this SBC on FIFA. So the first thing that we need to talk about with this is we need to look at this icon timeline really quick because there's a few points we want to make from this. We've been referring back to this page, the icon FIFA 20 uh, pitch notes that they made earlier this year for a lot of things regarding icons, right? We've got the timeline from when the icons are out and we have some information on SBCs. And the thing that I want to point out here is prime icon moments and the, the mid icons, mid icons are going out of packs literally uh, in like two or weeks, man, two or three weeks from when I'm recording this video, the middle icons are going to be going out of packs probably about a month from now because the base icons didn't come, didn't go out of packs until like later in the month in December. I would expect the same thing from the mid icons late to middle February would be kind of the time when they go out of packs. But that isn't very important to know and to discuss because um, last time the base icon SBC came out before base icons were out of packs. So I think that some of the similarities that we see from the base icon SBC, we're gonna talk a lot about those today and what could be coming with the middle icon SBC as well. So we know you can get a ton of cards from it, right? So let's go back to this base icon upgrade again and talk about a little bit with this. We're gonna talk timeline first and then we're gonna talk price. So timeline wise, this came out and I'm gonna show you this right here. The icon swaps that were released, there's a second set of swaps that were released that enabled people to get the icon pack through icon swap set one. And when that happened, it was on this date, I do believe, November 12th or November 11th was when all the swaps were released that you could go out and get the base icon pack through icon swaps. And that first day when people were opening the base icon packs, they had middle icons in them. They had middle icons coming out of them. Here's a, here's a clip and a pic of Matt HD Gamer getting a middle dog leash uh, instead of the baby version, which he should have gotten when he opened that base icon pack. Now, I wanna touch on this a little bit because I think it's very possible that when they release the mid icon pack, um, that the primes could come out out of that pack right away. We saw it with the babies, the mids came out, and what we've seen from EA is two years in a row, they've made similar mistakes with the headliner cards, right? So we're gonna look at a Yang headliner. Actually, let's look at Lewandowski because this one is relevant because he was in the first group of headliners. The headliners first day of this year and last year were not searchable through the special filter on this game. Now they are since they fixed it, 
But if the same thing happens this year like it does last year, which seems to be very plausible, or not even this year and last year, earlier this year, with some of the um, with some of the base icons in being instead of those being packed, uh, people were packing these middle icons. So the way that EA has messed up like the code, the stuff that's in packs before, I think it is very very likely that you see the another mix up with some of these base icons, and maybe you see the prime icons popping out of the SBCs when we go to do them. That would be insane if it is, but. Um, yeah, there's just uh, some thoughts on that. But again, this base icon SBC, when it came out, it was around 500,000 coins. And I want to get into kind of like the pricing of this SBC because I think a lot of people are interested in that. How much will a middle icon SBC cost? Well, it's of course got to be greater than the mid or than the baby icon SBC, right? So this SBC came out about 500k first day, rose up to 625, 612 came back down during Black Friday to 500, and then it was kind of just chilling around 500,000 coins until it went away during Footmas, and they put a new one out later that was actually cheaper, right? The, the new one that came out that was out until like a week ago from now, or before now, that one only cost you like 400 to 450,000 coins. So the secondary one was cheaper. The first one's always gonna be more expensive um, because they know it's new, it's fresh, people wanna hit it, and they're, people are gonna do this middle icon SPC a lot. So. Um, my kind of production or my prediction for a price range, as we look at last year's mid icon upgrade, this was way late in the year. I don't think we can really factor this into the pricing of this SBC that will be coming out because this was in April during basically team of the year time frame at the end of March. So I don't think we can factor in that the mid icon SBC would be cheaper than the baby. I think going off of this squad, I think that the middle icon SBC will be somewhere in the range of around 700 to 800,000 coins, probably even towards that 800k range, maybe at its very peak right here, um, in this game of FIFA 20. I think it is very possible. And of course, last time, there were plenty of ways to invest in this. If, for example, here's the 86 rated Thomas Muller, uh, we're going to look at these cards over the course of the beginning of the year. And you can tell earlier on in the year, first couple months, there aren't a ton of player SBCs. People are building coins in the game still. There's not as many promos, so the coins aren't yet flowing in the game, right? So there aren't many player SBCs. His card stays between, you know, 9, 10,000 and 13,000 coins, GG's. Then the base icon SBC comes. His card goes from 12K all the way up to basically 20K. He was probably over 20K that first day when the SBC came out in that weekend. Black Friday hits, he comes back down. But you know, you can see here that since this base icon SBC is out, instead of his price going down to 10,000 coins and, and being down low, a lot of the 86s, they had that, you know, kind of like a, the constant stream of demand because people were doing those um, icon, base icon upgrades after Black Friday when it was still in the store. So that's why you see these prices going up and not going back down to 10K just because there's more demand for these cards because there's SBCs out in the store. So he's chilling around 14, 15K, spikes at 19 again. And this is what happens with high rated fodder a lot, right? Especially though, when it's this first time, the, the drop or the increase in price here is so massive, massive because it was the very first time that these cards were really, really needed for SPCs. Fernandinho goes from 17K to 29K in two days. Um, will you see this dramatic of a rise the next time that, or the, when the mid icon SPC comes out? I don't think so. But if you can get yourself 87s at 20,000 coins are a great bargain. Um, so whenever you see that, it's probably good to club stock some 87s. 86s around 14K are very good value as well. Under 14K is great for those. And I think that if they do release this next, if they do release a mid icon SBC, I think that it's got to be um, probably a, a mix and a arrangement of 87 86, 87, and 88 rated squads. I could really see the middle icon SBC coming out and it requires um, probably mostly, I would say 186, two 87s, and then one 88 rated squad with three of those squads being informs because they're gonna include some informs in there to keep the prices high and to require more of those inform cards to clear out clubs. So that's kind of like my forecast for that SBC, right? I would say 86, 87, 87, and 88, four squads, but still around 700 to 800,000 coins when those high rated golds are inflated. So that's kind of my um, my fearless forecast, I guess you could say. And again, for investing in this stuff, last time the 90s, like Modric and Ter Stegen, they didn't really go up that much because, you know, it was an 86 rated squad was the highest one or an 87 
was the highest squad rating that you had to complete for the base icon SBC. Um, but for this one, I think it's very possible that you'll see these 90 rated cards go up a bunch, right? Because if you have a 90 rated card at 55K and you have some 88 rated squads in there, if they do drop two 88 rated squads, maybe these 90 rated cards will come in very, very handy. And they'll go up a lot of coins for those SBCs, the 89s as well. Return on investment wise, some of the 89 rated this year have been some of the best cards to invest in for pure return on investment purposes because there's not as many of them and people have no problem going out and spending 40 or 50k. I mean, I remember Busquets was super duper high. Think about some of these guys' prices for the messy player of the month SBC. These guys were like 50,000 coins almost when that SBC came out. It required a lot of 89s and people if people will do the messy player of the month SBC, they will do multiple of these middle icon SBCs as well. So of course the high rated and the informs are going to be what's required for this middle icon SBC. Uh, and you know, I want to talk about time frame now. I think this is the next mo most important thing that we can talk about with this SBC. When is it going to come? So we know when to get prepared and we know how to get prepared. This is the toughest part about it is when, when is this SBC going to come, right? As of right now, uh, as I'm recording this, we are in the second season. This is the New Year's season, and it only has a couple of days left. We are only a few days away from the next season, which will refresh these icon swap objectives so that we will have new ones coming onto this game. Right now, we only have 12 tokens available. They've been, they're really milking the second season of icon swaps. As of right now, uh, it looks like if we go and look at the icon swaps SBCs, we're over, literally, we are over a month away from getting a new set of Icon Swaps. 45 days away from Icon Swap Set 3. That's going to take us into March. And again, I don't want to get in the conversation about these Icon Swaps because I do not think they are up to standard and up to par with what um, kind of players we should be looking to get in our teams for early March. It's just crazy how low quality this is, in my opinion, the player selection in these. Um, but that's besides the point. This pack is probably, unless they drop all 12 tokens, because if there's 24 tokens, they've already dropped 12. The next season starts in three, four days, then they'll drop 12 more. Um, if they don't drop 12 tokens in the next season, if they don't drop all 12, then the mid icon pack is probably going to be pushed back a little further. But in my opinion, if they drop all 12 tokens in the next couple of days in this next season, if you will, um, like if you look at the top right by my face cam up here, New Year's season, and it says that it has right now three days, 15 hours left. If when that three days and 15 hours is up, a new season comes and all 12 swaps are available via objectives, then I would think the mid icon SBC is coming very soon. And when does it be benefit EA to release this SBC? I want to talk about this as well. Think about when the base icon SBC came out, November 21st, 2019. What was on November 27th? Black Friday. This SBC came out just a few days before one of the biggest promos in FIFA Ultimate Team. Why did EA do that? It was perfect timing by EA. It's all, EA always knows what they're doing, boys. I'm going to be honest. EA is very smart with this. They know what they're doing with this market. What they did was they put this SBC out before Black Friday when everybody was planning to spend a bunch of money on packs anyway and open saved up packs and whatever. They put this SBC out beforehand to make people go out and spend their coins, drain their clubs to do this SBC because it's hype, it's fun. We've never had a base icon upgrade like this early in the game, which is pretty sweet, to be honest. So that's kind of cool content that they put out. But they sucked a lot of coins out of people's clubs right before a big promo. So what does that do? It leads a lot of people to put on FIFA points, to buy FIFA points and open packs during Black Friday because they don't have any coins after this SBC comes out. And I do think that is a common theme with these SBCs that EA wants to repeat, right? What are the upcoming promos that we have that could be coming uh, that would suggest an, uh, one of these SBCs being dropped before the promo? We are on the end of headliners right now and we don't really know what's coming next. Are we gonna have a promo on this Friday? I think it's possible. Could it be future stars? I think it's possible. Is the window too short for them to drop a baby icon SBC on Wednesday or Thursday and then have future stars on Friday? I really don't know if they're going to do that, but I think that it is possible for the mid icon SBC. It's either going to come in the next couple of days or the next week, 
or I don't think it's going to come for another couple weeks. So I think it's either going to be really soon or we're going to have to wait a couple weeks for them to put it out. If EA are smart, which I think they are, the base icon upgrade did not go away that long ago. It's literally been, I think, like a week since that base icon upgrade left the SBC section. And they know how much people love these SBCs. I think they have to put it back in sooner rather than later. And I think a lot of the other FIFA community feels that. You'll see guys on Twitter tweeting about they think it's coming this week. I feel like this week might be too soon. But I don't think you can go off the thinking of, and originally I was I was saying this, originally I was saying, I don't think the SBC will be, will be available until this mid icon pack is available. But I think I'm kind of going back on my initial gut feeling because EA knows how much people want to do the mid icon SBC and they know what that can do to the market and help drain clubs of cards. Uh, and think about where we're at right now. We are after team of the year, right? A huge market rebound after team of the year and another the market is still very high with these headliner cards huge live items that will be live for the rest of foot we are on the tail end of two massive uh, three weeks basically of team of the year and headliners promotions which is all pack based and that think about this man they've been doing SBCs basically every day during the headliners promo flashbacks player moments other headliner SBCs, and that's just continually trying to drain coins out of people's clubs before another promo where they're trying to get them to spend. Uh, so I do think it is possible. Maybe they drop this SBC sometime around um, when the prime moments icons are going to be coming in the game, right? Maybe they drop this SBC in the next, like, maybe two weeks from now. So maybe a week before prime moments come out. So like a week and a half or two weeks from now could be that time. Uh, and I'm recording this at the end of January, by the way, if you're watching this later. I think that right before this moment, these moments come out could be a perfect time for this because EA, they know this year moments is going to be different, right? They said down here in this, uh, in the right here, moments, um, this de defines a truly memorable historic performance in an icon's career that elevated them to the all-time greats. And is this year, in FIFA 19, not every card had a moments right as an icon can have any moments throughout their story career their previously released moment icon version in foot 19 won't necessarily be the the same version of fifa 20 as well so we're going to have different moments cards from last year and we're going to have all fifa 20 icons receiving a moments which was not the case last year either so we're going to be talking a lot about prime icon moments in the coming coming days and coming weeks and i think the mid icon sbc could be a coin suck happening right before that so those are kind of my thoughts on the mid icon sbc what it's going to cost um is it going to be before a big promo like future stars or after a promo and before mom uh, moments uh and then of course some of the market movements because of that so if you want to invest in this i would not say that right now is the time to do it again we just looked at thomas muller thomas muller's card is like eighteen thousand coins at the moment 17k these cards are all inflated because of all the sbcs that we've had during headliners those sbcs expire tuesday 6 p.m uk so you're going to see a lot of sbcs go away except for like the sane and for the bernardo silva and then uh, after that obviously we don't have a ton of sbcs in the store but these cards are probably going to drop in price now again i say this a lot if you're looking for the if you're looking for something to invest in right if you're looking for something to invest in, especially related to high high tier golds, like SBC fodder golds, 86 rated players, my buy price for these is always 14K. If we look at the graphs, let's look at Verratti's graph, for example. My buy price for these cards is always 14K for the 86s. Look, he goes to 14K right here, boom, back up to 16. Goes to 14K, boom, all the way up to 19. Boom, 14, 15K, goes up to 20K. These guys always ebb and flow as SBCs are released and SBCs are pulled back off the game. So that's why I don't want to invest in these cards right now. It's honestly, investing in these fodder cards is really easy because you see that when they're low, no SBCs are out or a bunch of packs have been opened, then you just buy them, right? 87 rated at 20,000 coins are a huge buy for me. Even at like 21K for some of them with good links, I'm a huge fan there. 88 rated cards like a Tony Cruz. This would be a great SBC fodder type card. If you see this guy around like 25 or 26K, I'm a fan of that. So 88's around 25 or 26, and then 89 rated cards uh, in the low 30s. So like a Koulibaly at like maybe 32. 
That's a little bit low. Let's say like 33 or 34K for a Koulibaly would be a great, great SBC investment. And then stock in like 84, 85 rated informs as well would be a great investment for your clubs uh, at this time. And of course, this is a general tip. I'm going to use Inform Payette as an example. If you're going to invest in Informs and you're going to be way ahead of the game, look at this guy's Inform. This guy's left wing 84 rated Inform, I think is like 30K. He's over 30,000 coins. This is a guy that was in what, like team of the week nine or something like this, an early team of the week that has just been hit upon hit upon hit of SBCs that require informs since he came out into the game until now. So if you see, if you're looking through some of the cheapest 84 rated or 85 or 86 rated informs, and you see somebody from a very earlier on team of the week that has good links and a good position for SBCs, those are gems to buy because they're so much more rare on the market than somebody who is in the current team of the week that everybody's going to go look to use. So if you see somebody from a very old past team of the week and they're still in a good viable range compared to the other cheapest 84s, put your coins into those before you put your coins into a, a team of the week card that is from a current team of the week just because they'll have less supply on the game as all the old ones have been supply has been taken off the market as people do SBCs with those cards throughout the weeks after they go out of packs. And again, what other market movements could you see because of this SBC? Would I expect middle icons to take a hit? To that, I would say yes, a little bit. Um, some of the middle icons, I think we saw this with the babies a little bit too. They took a quick hit, but then they went right back up because people realized, yo, uh, these cards are not very easy to pack. The drop weight was not very high for some of these uh, cards and packs in those base upgrades. And then some of the middles, the middle SBC could actually impact some of the babies price as well. Because you have people that probably have got baby icons in their team. Maybe some of them are tradable and they go and sell those uh, to go and do an SBC. So you might see some icon panic all the way across the boards. Uh, but I would expect, at least on the very usable and very meta middle cards, I would expect a decent rebound shortly after. Um, especially if it's headed into a promo, more coins come out of the game and people go buy back cards because they realize they did one or two mid icon SBCs and they couldn't pack one of the ones they wanted. So they go back and buy cards, but you'll probably see panic selling heading into that SBC or when that SBC drops and it's maybe it's a, a surprise, then you will see a little bit of panic, um, until that SBC kind of cools down, I guess you could say, uh, but you should see some panic initially right away. So Huge video today talking about the mid icon SBC and what could happen with this game FIFA 20. I hope that this SBC comes before it's available in icon swaps because this pack, especially if they release the next set of swaps and it's only uh, six tokens again, then we're going to have some issues and it's going to be really, really hard to get this pack. You will only be able to get this pack if they release six tokens next time if you've gotten every single token so far, which I don't think a lot of people have gotten. So if they release all 12 in the next... Uh, season, then I think it's very possible that the Icon SBC would come pretty soon after that because then all the tokens would be easily attainable to get this 18 if you're somebody who's grinded some of them that were a little bit earlier on in the game. So if you like this video, hit a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, of course, drop them down in the comments. And of course, if you're new, hit the sub button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, I am super stoked for the mid Icon SBC. I don't have a ton of coins to do one. I'm not broke, don't worry. I've got some stuff that I'm investing in, got some stuff that I'm trading with. That's why I don't have a ton of coins right now, but I will definitely try to do one. Maybe if you like crafting of some sorts during a promo with upgrade packs, we love to do those, right? But we'll definitely hit a mid icon SBC. As again, as I said, a lot of people are gonna be insanely pumped to do this SBC when it comes out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the information today. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.